Hello everyone, my name is Bodo. Last time I showed you how to download and install Windows Movie Maker for free. This time I'm going to show you how to add photos, videos, and sound into your presentation. The next video I cover will show you how to edit all of that into something a little more presentable. So first, this is what Movie Maker will look like once you open it. Should look exactly the same as you're seeing here. Now, whenever we want to first add uh, videos, photos, anything like that to our presentation, we can click in this big box right here, or we can go to the Add Photos and Videos button right up here. So I'll just click on that. And I already have some pictures of cats that I want to add in. My cat specifically, not just anyone's cat. So I will click a couple of them. The way that I am selecting multiple pictures is by holding down the control key on my keyboard and left clicking on each single one that I want to add. I'm not adding this one because it's a video and I want it to be at the very end of my presentation, so I'll add it later. So, once I've selected everything I've wanted, I will click Open down here. And you can see that Movie Maker has automatically put everything in for you. So, technically, this is a finished movie. I can click Play, and after it has gone through each single frame or each single photo, the movie will be over. So it'll move between each individual photo until it is done. It says the estimated completion time is 1 minute and 10 seconds to make it through all the photos that I've added here. Now I can change that, of course. Not everything has to be that long. So we can say that we only want this photo to last for 4 seconds. That'll make it nice and easy, right? Okay, you can see that that's chopped our time down by three seconds. If I want to select multiple of these images and then set their duration to four seconds, we have 10 photos each at four seconds each. That is 40 seconds total. So now each photo will only play for a total of four seconds before it moves on to the next one. And that's great. Makes it nice and easy. Next, I want to add that video that I was mentioning at the very end. So I'll go onto here, Add Photos and Videos. I will click on the video, and I will click Open. All right, so the video has inserted in between the first picture and the second picture. That is not the ideal location for me. I'd like it to be at the very end. So to reorder it, all I have to do is left click with my mouse and drag it all the way to the end over here and then Movie Maker will automatically move it to the very end of the movie. And you can do this with any of the other photos as well. So if I want this one at the very beginning, I just click and drag, and then it goes there. If I want this one at the end of the photos, I click and drag, and it moves there. Nice, easy, quick. Okay, so now if I go to the beginning and click on this play button here, we can watch and see what the presentation is going to do. So, just like we told it to do, it's taking four seconds between every photo. We do not have any uh, animations between each one. You can, it's very simple to do. I'll show you how to do it in the next video. It's her taking a nap. If you want to see the preview on a larger screen, all you have to do is click this button. It says preview full screen. I will click on that. You can see it's still moving through them. Yeah, let's go Ready? for it. Yeah. And then it moved to the video that I just added. <laughs> now, to get out of full screen view, you can click on this Back to Movie Maker button right here at the top right. Wow. There we go. <laughs> I'll pause it. And then this black bar here. If you click on it and move it left and right, it will show you what is happening in each frame where the bar is. So it makes editing very simple, very quick, very easy to move through because we know exactly what we're looking at and exactly where we're going to put things. Next, let's add a title. This is about my cat, so why not put in a title that says so? I could just say, my cat exclamation mark. Okay. However, I think this font is kind of ugly, so I'm going to highlight it. 
I'll go up to the text tools up here. I'll make it something a little more elegant. I'll make the size a little larger. We can go even bigger than that. Let's make it 120. There we go. Now we're talking. Good. I also don't really like just the black background color. We can change that. Let's make it this nice red. Also, if you'll notice, my video or my title is all the way in the middle of my video. That is not where a title goes. It can if you're doing an extra title, but I want this at the very beginning. So now, whenever I click play, it'll say my cat. And that will display for it looks like seven seconds. And then I'll move on to the photos. That's good. And next, for the clincher, I will show you how to add music. So whenever you click on this Add Music button up here, you have a couple options as to where to get it. You can use one of these websites here to get some free music, or you can add music that you have currently on your computer. So I'm going to add music from my computer since I have some picked out. Okay, there it is. Next, I will select the music that I want to use. This one's called Ishikari Lore by Kevin McLeod. Um, or Kevin McLeod, sorry. I will open it. All right, and now you can see down here all these waves. That is what your music looks like. So video, music, title. And you're able to click and edit each one of these just by selecting it. So if we start from the beginning, You'll also notice that um, in the preview, the large screen preview, it will be very poor quality, and that is to be expected. Whenever you're working with um, video or photos or anything like that in a video editor, it will reduce the quality to make it run a little smoother on your PC, on your computer, while you're editing. Whenever you finish the project and publish it, it will be back to its original good quality. So keep in mind that it will not permanently look bad, it's just while you're editing. It'll give you a general idea of how things look. And as you can see, we have music playing over our video here. That is technically fine, but that's not what I want. So we will have to edit this movie that we have made, which is simple. It's nice and easy, quick to do. But to do that, it'll take another video to explain. I'll show you how to add transitions, animations, I'll show you how to change music, how to alter each and every section of your movie. And there we have it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I'll see you again next time, and I hope you start making your own movie. Bye-bye.